The most successful physical theory of all time is called the quantum theory, and uh, it's accurate to within one part in 10 billion, and the world economy is based on the quantum principle. Lasers, the internet, this conversation is made possible because of the quantum theory. But the quantum theory is based on a strange principle, that electrons can be two places at the same time. Now, Einstein hated that principle. He once said that the more successful the quantum theory becomes, the sillier it looks. <laughs> well, sorry about that, Albert. But it turns out that the world economy is based on the fact that electrons can be in multiple states at the same time until you measure it. Now let's apply this theory to Einstein's theory. Einstein says that the universe is a bubble of some sort, which is expanding. That's called the Big Bang Theory. But if this is correct and we quantize the universe, then the universe can be in multiple states at the same time. In other words, instead of a bubble, it's a bubble bath. And these bubbles can collide. And when they collide, they form a bigger bubble. Or a bubble can fission in half to create two smaller bubbles. And what is that called? That's called the Big Bang. And how do you prove it? Well, so far the data seems to go in the favor of inflationary theory. And inflationary theory in turn is based on the idea that universes are being born all the time. Even as we speak, Big Bangs have been happening someplace in this great universe of ours. In other words, yes, there is a multiverse of universes out there, but the probability of entering them, of being coherent with them, is too small to be measured. One problem we give our PhD students is calculate the probability you'll wake up on Mars tomorrow. Well, it's a finite number. You can calculate it. But tomorrow, I suspect you will wind up in your room. You will have to wait time with the universe to, walk, to wake up on Mars. But is it possible? Well, yeah.